Welcome to another video walk around. Today we're going to be taking a look at this 2016 Honda HRV EX in this gorgeous deep ocean pearl color. This all wheel drive, four door, five passenger crossover comes equipped with a 1.8 liter four cylinder engine mounted to an automatic transmission. As an added bonus, this vehicle has only had one previous owner, has no accidents reported, and is low mileage. So this vehicle is in pristine condition inside and out. Starting up front with some of the notable exterior features, you've got a nice sleek front end, lots of interesting and unique body lines. You'll also find, of course, the fog lamps for some additional style and utility. As you come around to the side of the vehicle, you've got the 17-inch five-spoke alloy rims the vehicle currently rides on with that nice unique style. And those are wrapped in the Michelin tires with tons and tons of tread, as you can see. As we continue down the vehicle, you'll find the turn signal indicator integrated right into the mirror. And if we back up here, you'll find a very sleek side profile, nice and compact. In back here, you've also got the tinted windows for some additional privacy for the rear passengers or rear cargo, and that tint continues in back as well. And you've also got these unique door handles that are found up at the top rather than on the side of the door. As we head towards the back, you'll find the color matched roof fin antenna as well as the color matched roof spoiler with the integrated brake light. In back here, you'll also find a rear windshield wiper as well as, of course, the HRV badging and the all wheel drive badging. If you're looking for an affordable vehicle that's packed with utility, this is the one for you. So let's go ahead and hop inside and take a look at all the interior features. Hopping inside, this fuel efficient crossover is nice and easy thanks to the proximity smart key system. But of course you do have your standard remote keyless entry options on the key fob as well. And you'll also find the trunk release button there so you can pop the hatch without having to hop in the vehicle. All you have to do is walk up the key on your person and put your hand in the door to unlock the vehicle. And when you hop out, you've got the button there to easily lock the vehicle. Inside you're good with this very plush beige fabric seating here with the nice pattern in the center of the seat and just below the seat you will find the manual seat adjustments and if you take a look in the footwell there you've got the nice HRV branded all weather mats those are nice and easy to clean regardless of how dirty or wet they get and they also contour very nicely to the footwell to ensure you keep the carpet in pristine condition so let's go ahead and hop inside fire this vehicle up and take a look at all the bells and whistles the features inside this Honda start with the push button ignition, simply put your phone on the brake and push the button to start the vehicle as long as the key is inside. If you take a look over at the driver's side door panel, you've got a very nice padded beige leather armrest here that leads to the controls for the power windows, locks and mirrors. As an added bonus, your driver's side window is automatic. Underneath you do have a little bit of extra storage as well as an extra cup holder and speaker integrated into the door panel. Just to the right here, you'll find the Econ button. If you have that toggled, you'll be sure that you're getting the best possible fuel economy. Just below that, you've got the windshield wiper de-icer button, as well as the button for the traction control. Under the steering column, you do have the manual adjustment for your tilt and telescoping steering wheel, so you can get it in the perfect position. And if we take a look just behind the wheel at the turn signal stock, you notice that this vehicle does come equipped with automatic headlights, which is a great set it and forget it feature. And of course, you've also got the switch for the fog lights that I showed you on the exterior. If you take a look at the end of the turn signals lock, you find this little button here. That brings up the side view camera. That is a really cool feature to help you parallel park the vehicle. Super handy to have. And of course, when you press the button again, you'll bring back the main screen there. While we're behind the wheel, we'll also take a look at the paddle shifters, which gives this vehicle a very sporty feel when you're manually shifting through the gears. And if we back up here and take a look at this three-spoke steering wheel, you'll find a very nice design, including the nice little glossy black piece at the bottom and this mesh-looking piece in the center here. Over on the left-hand side, you've got all of your steering wheel-mounted audio controls, which includes your track selector and volume rocker buttons. You've also got the audio source button in the center there, and you've got these two buttons here, which cycle through the screens in your infotainment system. So we'll go ahead and take a look over there in just a little bit here. Below that, you'll find the two Bluetooth hands-free calling buttons, as well as the voice recognition button. And over on the right-hand side, you'll find the buttons for your cruise control system, which is great for those highway drives. If we go ahead and take a look up in the gauge cluster there, you've got a nice little purple light around the digital speedometer there. And over on the right-hand side, you've got that little info screen, which gives you your time, as well as your fuel economy up at the top. And below that, you'll find the odometer, and you can see that this vehicle currently has 47,124 kilometers on it. If you take a look towards the center of the dash here, you'll find a nice um, spot for the hazard lights over on the left-hand side here, as well as a climate vent. And in the center here, you've got your embedded touchscreen infotainment system. In terms of your audio options here, you do have lots to choose from, including your standard AM, FM radio. You've also got a CD player, as well as a couple of USB ports. You've also got AHA and Bluetooth, so you can be sure that you can listen to your own audio, regardless of the type of device that you have. And you've even got an HDMI port. That is a unique feature that you don't see on too many vehicles. 
click into the info screen here you can also check your trip computer as well as your clock and wallpaper you'll also find the phone screen if you have your device hooked up via bluetooth and of course you've also got connect link there as well in the settings menu you've got lots to go through and customize to your preferences and finally if you put this vehicle into reverse you'll see the backup camera pop right up which is really handy to have and you've got the nice guiding lines for when you turn the wheel and as an added bonus here you can adjust the view of the camera with the buttons at the bottom depending on the situation if you put the vehicle back in a park of course you'll bring back that main infotainment system screen below that you'll find the climate controls and you've got a really unique um, climate control design here it's all the touch screen system so as you tap the screen or the little buttons integrated into the screen there you'll be able to turn on and off the system it's a really cool feature but you don't have any actual physical tactile buttons it is also a dual zone climate control system so you can adjust the temperature independently for the driver and the passenger and as an added bonus it's an auto system as well so if you hit the auto button there you'll let the vehicle adjust the fan speed and heat to get it to your desired temperature you'll also find that for the hot summer days you've got the air conditioning which is great and of course you've also got heated mirrors for those cold winter days and you'll also find two stage heated seats for both front passengers as we continue down here you'll find the passenger airbag warning then of course you've got your shifter here as well as the button for your parking brake. In the center here you've got the cup holder as well as the little center console. You can pull the armrest over with the button underneath. You can open it up and then of course you can also pull it over as an armrest. That's a cool feature as well. And if we take a look underneath here you'll find the USB ports that I was talking about earlier as well as the HDMI port and a 12 volt power outlet to keep the devices charged up. You've also got a little bit of storage space here, which is really handy to have. If you take a look over in the passenger side door uh, footwell there, you'll find the same great HRV floor mats. And just above, you've got your standard glove box with lots of room inside. And above, you've got this really unique climate vent situation with three right in a row, so you can adjust them independently. Gives the dash a very unique look, nice and stylish and modern. Over on the passenger side door panel, you've got the same great design as well as, of course, the control for the passenger side window. And if we take a look up top here, you'll find the controls for your sunroof, which is fantastic to have on sunny days like today. And of course, you can open it up and let in lots of airflow as well. So that concludes the features up front. Let's go ahead and hop in back and take a look at some of the features in the rear of this vehicle. In the rear of this vehicle, you've got more of that same comfortable fabric seating that extends all the way across the rear bench seat. Back here, you'll also find lots of legroom for the rear passengers, even if those front seats are pushed all the way back. And of course, you've got the same grade all over the mats. If you hop inside, you'll find a handy storage pocket in the back of the passenger side seat. And you've also got a 12 volt outlet located in the back of the center console to keep the devices charged up for your rear passengers. These rear seats also do fold down on a 60-40 split. If you have some additional cargo to store, you can simply grab the latch up top and fold the seat down nice and easily. And the best part is that it lays flat with the trunk, making it nice and easy to store large cargo flat. So we'll go ahead and take a look back in the cargo area, but before we do, we'll take a quick glance at the rear door panel here, and you'll find the same great design that we found on the driver's side, as well as, of course, the switch for the rear window, and a little bit of storage underneath there. So let's go ahead and take a look in back. You'll be pleasantly surprised with the amount of cargo space back here. You've got a nice large carpeted cargo bay, as well as the standard carpet mats, if you're looking to switch those out. Back here, you've also got a nice interior light to help see what you're doing, even at night. And over on the other side, you've got a nice 12-volt outlet. Underneath here, you'll also find the spare tire, as well as the tools to change it, in case you ever get a flat. That concludes this short video walk around, but this stylish, affordable, and fuel-efficient ride will not last long on our lot, so make sure you stop by Kelowna Toyota, located at 1200 Leaf Head Road, or visit us online at kelownatoyota.com for more information. We look forward to seeing you soon.